What's one message you'd like to give to your younger self? That's a very interesting question. I've often wondered if I met my younger self, what my younger self would think about me now. Would he think that I was a pompous old professor and be horrified what I had become? I would have given the advice which sort of I've um, followed myself anyway, which is to take whatever opportunities present themselves and don't try to plan your career too much. What do you think about what you've become? Have you become a pompous old professor? I'm not sure it's for me to judge. Though I do have a card on the wall from my son when he was about 13 saying, don't be pompous like other profs. So it's in front of me every time I sit at the computer. What's your favourite subject other than chemistry? I think I'm interested in languages and um, but I'm interested in almost too many things, which is why we have so many books at home. And I think it is one of the joys that one can read about all sorts of different things. But I feel that being able to speak foreign languages is really good. It gives you some of the advantages of being schizophrenic with none of the disadvantages. You can have a different personality when you're speaking one language and another, which is why it's so sad that so, so few people in the UK speak any language other than English. They're missing out on a great opportunity. What are some of the languages that you can speak with some degree of proficiency? I can speak Russian and French reasonably well, and um, I can get by in German. And I know one or two words in Chinese, but that's all. Is there anything about chemistry you don't like? I don't like marking chemistry exams. I wasn't very keen taking exams myself when I was younger. I think that there are some parts of chemistry that are more exciting than others. And some years ago, I was having to teach something that I thought was really boring. And I was lecturing to a class of undergraduates. And suddenly I realized they were really quiet. They clearly thought it was interesting. So I felt I really ought to get more excited about it. And I got so worked up about this particular type of reaction that I couldn't do anything else for the rest of the morning. Were they excited? What was the, rea what was the reaction? It was substitution in octahedral cobalt-3 complexes. Oh, yeah, that does sound exciting. So we're now in the area where the elements are created. So the big accelerator, the cyclotron, is behind that wall and the ions come down this pipe. 